On a rare Thursday night on the campus of Ryan University in Oxford, Ohio this evening, we welcome you to Mid-American Conference College Basketball live from Alet Hall in Oxford, Ohio, as the Central Michigan Chippewas come to Oxford to take on the Red Hawks from Miami. Patrick Eshu with you here on Red Hawk Radio tonight, riding solo. Glad you're with us on this rare Thursday night of MAC basketball. Now, if you'll remember, this game was originally supposed to be played here in Oxford on January the 28th, but it was rescheduled by both Central Michigan and the Mid-American Conference due to some concerns of a few students having the coronavirus here at Miami University on campus. Well, those concerns have gone away. They rescheduled the game from January 28th to tonight, almost a month later on February 27th. For Central Michigan, a team that is not hot at all. They've lost six very close games in a row. The last one, a 93-81 loss versus Toledo in Mount Pleasant on Tuesday. Chippewas 13-14 overall, 6-8 in the conference. They're third in the back west, three wins behind Ball State coming into this one, just 2-10 and on the road on the year. For Miami, a team 10-17 overall, 3-11 in the conference. Their three wins behind Ohio in the basement of the Mac East Division. Miami losing six of their past seven, including two in a row. The last one, a 74-61 loss at Kent State on Tuesday. Pretty quick turnaround for Miami here tonight, trying to play, uh, I guess, two games in three days, and they're back on the floor Saturday as well in that doubleheader of Miami basketball when they take on the Bowling Green Falcons here at Millette Hall at 3.30 Eastern time. So the Red Hawks on the floor a lot over the past week, and we'll see if fatigue may be an issue with them here tonight. In front of that, Miami had a 75-65 loss at Akron on Saturday, and the Red Hawks have just been struggling as of late. The offense has struggled to get going, and so has the defense. But for Miami, three of their last four games are at home. And if you look at the max standings, the overall max standings coming into the game today, the Red Hawks are in the basement of the MAC. They're just a half game behind Western Michigan, who's in 11th place. Miami, 3 and 11 MAC record. Western Michigan, 4 and 11 MAC record. And then in front of them, in 10th place, Eastern Michigan, who's 5 and 10 overall. So with Miami's four regular season games remaining, and if the playoffs began today, Miami would travel to Ball State in the first round to take on the fifth seed at Cardinals up at Worthen Arena. Of course, more games have to be played across the conference, but that would be the scenario for Miami if the playoffs started today. The Red Hawks will probably be traveling for a first round game, but in terms of getting a better seed, they are certainly able to do that with a few wins here late in the season. Just two wins behind Eastern Michigan at 10th place, and then three wins behind a three-way, or two-way tie rather for eighth and ninth to lead and Ohio both at six and nine. It's Miami and Central Michigan on a Thursday night from Oxford. Let's join our Millette Hall public address. This evening's matchup between the Central Michigan Chippewas and your Miami Red Hawks. At this time, we ask that you please rise and remove your hats as we honor our country with the playing of our national anthem by the Miami Basketball Band. beginning with the visiting Chippewas of Central Michigan. Wearing number two, Devontae Lane. Number five, Bob Montgomery. Wearing number 14, David Delio. Number 20, Kevin McCain. 
category number 23, Alex Morgan. The assistants are Chris Davis, Chris Jeff, and DJ Mazzini. The head coach of Central Michigan is Kino Davis. Starting lights, we're set ready for basketball here at Millette Hall tonight. Patrick gets you with you on Red Hawk Radio, Miami and Central Michigan. Both teams trying to get out of the hole. And losing more than winning lately is Central Michigan again. Lost six in a row, Red Hawks two in a row, but six of their past seven. Central Michigan, their road maroon uniforms. They have a golden stripe down each side. Gold Central Michigan across the front with a number in between, and those numbers are gold. There's a gold number, gold name on the back for the Red Hawks. Standard home whites, Miami across the front in red. The red number on the front, red number on the back, and all the Red Hawks sporting those red Adidas basketball shoes tonight. Pretty sports crowd in Millette Hall on hand for this one. We've seen bigger crowds for men's basketball this year, but they pretty much have only filled up about four sections or so here at Oxford tonight. Of course, the rescheduled game, so a lot of people didn't necessarily plan for this on their schedule, I guess, when they were buying season tickets. Elijah McNamara will score off in the tip at half court with Central's Rob Montgomery. Montgomery, the 6'7", 230 senior. McNamara has started the past five games now. He's a 6'9", 207-pound sophomore. And our referees today will step in and give off the tip after TV gives the signal to begin this one. And the tip is thrown up. McNamara, the win back to Milos Yulmik. We're underway in Oxford. Miami at Central Michigan on a Thursday night. Games are getting critical now in the Mac. They did Grant to the far corner, the Miami offensive end. McNamara, left-handed dribble, far edge of the paint. Gets some room for left-handed hook shot. It's short on David DeLeo of Central Michigan. And the Chippewas return back down the floor. Devontae Lane will quarterback the offense for the Chips. Number two in Maroon this evening. The pass top of the key for Kevin McCade. Right arm dribble and a drive. He threw a shot up. And McNamara, the right-handed batter to midair. And went out the baseline on the Red Hawks. 16 to shoot for the Chips. Central Michigan, the inbound near corner. And they go to Dallas Morgan off the hands of Lane. Morgan walks it up the near side, reaches top of the key. Red Hawks here, slow on defense. Lane near side with five to shoot outside the arc. Left-handed dribble to the Mac logo, the pass top of the key. Morgan pull up jumper away too far right. 
And he didn't even get it off in time before the shot clock expired, so the Rockets officially get it back from that. Crowd still standing here, 47 seconds into this first half. Day Day Grant over the line on the right wing for the Red Hawks. The left handed dribble, hands back to My J. White. Top of the key, it's Savani. Inside the arc, back out, fires off the three. It's in and out. And corralled to the hands of Dallas Morgan. The left handed pass to Lane up the floor. Fires it off left wing. Long three pointer attempt short off the hands of Dilio. My J. White grabs the rebound and kicks it back the other way, but a pass far corner. Jovic coughed it up and lets it go out of bounds near the Central Michigan bench with 18.48 to go in the first. So an inbound here on the far side of the floor. DeLeo plays it into Devontae Lane over the line on the far side. It'll cut to the middle here for Central Michigan. And then back to the far side. Chips moving left to right across your radio here in half number one. A drive from the near corner by Kevin McKay and a foul here will be whistled against Miami. They're gonna get Subandi. And it will be Savani's first and the team's first. So free throws are on the way here for Kevin McKay, 6'5", 228 senior out of Warren, Michigan. Started tonight and has started every MAC game for Central Michigan this year. There's a pair at the line here and the first one goes through for Kevin McKay, the 72.1% free throw shooter on the air coming into this one tonight. And a second free throw good as well for McKay to give the Chippewas the early 2-0 lead here from Oxford. 90 seconds into the first half. Grant hits the brakes, top of the key for the Red Hawks. The pass to Jovic returns to Grant far side. One bounce to the corner for McNamara. Trying to work his way to the far edge of the paint. He got tied up with McKay and we're gonna jump ball whistle it here. The ball will return to Central Michigan who has the possession era. McNamara, no options, had to try to do something with it far edge of the paint. McKay tied him up along with Lane. And the Chippewas back the other way here on offense. Lane over the timeline, left wing. Grant is his matchup. Here he's at cross court with left hand to dribble. Flings it far wing, and it's caught and put up and in by DeLeo on the baseline drive to the far side. And it's 4 0 Chippewas here. Grant over the timeline, middle of the floor. The far side pass for IJ White. White controls here with a drive in the far corner. Kicks it near side. It was intercepted by Montgomery. Back to the wing comes Central Michigan. Lane pulls up on the left wing. Pass to the far corner. It's held here by Central's Dallas Morgan. And back to the top of the key for Lane. Dishes it far side. Morgan right-handed dribble. With Jovic, who pressures him toward the Miami bench, but he's able to find Montgomery top of the key. Montgomery left wing drive. It'll work his size on Sabandi. The shot off the backboard too hard to get tipped out of bounds off Central Michigan on the rebound. And the Chips here will give it up, up 4 0 with 17 22 to go in the first. And all the fans still remain on their feet here at Millette Hall before Miami scores their first basket of the game, which hasn't happened yet. Grant on offense, pass to the far wing, Savani corrals to McNamara, near wing, MyJ White, left side. Outside the arc, returns top of the key for Grant. With 14 to shoot, Grant near wing. Jovic holds outside the arc on Montgomery. Works his way left elbow, jumper too far right. And back to the way is Lane for Central Michigan. Left handed dribble, the cross court feed for DeLeo. Kicks it down low, catching the pass, Morgan. Far corner three, they got it to Hartford, Winston. And back to the way, here comes White. White through the middle lane drive, and he's fouled up in and tripped up by Deshaun Winston, who was the only one coming back for Central Michigan. A little breakaway that time for IJ White. And he'll shoot a pair of free throws here with 16.45 to go in the first. IJ White, who had six points in the Kent State loss on Tuesday. We'll head to the line here. 83% free throw shooter, and the first one too hard from White. Fans all cringe at that one. They want to sit down. And standing up for a little while here at Millette. Bam Bowman makes his first appearance in the game for Miami. He's been off the bench recently. Has not started in the past four games. And Sabani and McNamara come out for the Red Hawks. White will make the second free throw to give Central the 4-1 lead. And the fans can take their seats with 16-40 to go here in the first. 
Lane left hand, a dribble over the timeline, middle of the floor, working on Jovic, but Lane much stronger, gets to the left side of the paint, little floater off the glass, no good. Jovic returns back to the way of the rebound, to the right elbow, little kick out far corner, little jumper, it's missed by Coleman Lands, and collected here by Montgomery. And the bounce pass to Lane, and they get it up the far side, three pointer, far wing is good off the hands of DeLeo. And a 7-1 Central Michigan lead, they're up by six. On the three-pointer, goodbye to Leo. So here's Grant, left-handed dribble outside the arc. Switches to the right hand. Grant, top of the key, dishes far away. Here's Coleman, lands with the ball for the Red Hots. For Jovic, near side for Grant. Trying to kick it back the other way, and then decides to keep it. Goes top of the key, fires off the jumper, it's short. Here's DeLeo back with Central Michigan. Corral the rebound of McKay over the line on the left wing. Kevin McKay outside, top of the key for DeLeo. Gives it back here for Devontae Lane, holds the ball on Dede Grant. Lane to the near away, corralled here by DeLeo. Kicks it back far side and a three-pointer missed. Rebound to the hands of Coleman Lance. Back in the way for the Red Hawks. Over the middle of the floor. Coleman near corner. Grant, right-handed dribble. Free throw line. Kicks it far side. Coleman Lance. Top of the key. Jovic holds it above his head. Back to the near wing for Grant. Coleman holds it with both arms. Near side of the paint. Fires it far away. Tend to shoot. Here's a three-pointer off the hands. That time at Coleman Lance. And it missed. Too far short. Foul whistling on the Red Hawks. Trying to get the rebound, it's gonna be Bam Bowman, and we'll get our first timeout with 15.02 to go here in the first. Slow start offensively for the Miami Red Hawks. Central Michigan, the 7-1 lead here from Oxford. It's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Patrick Eschew back with the Red Hawk Radio today. Miami and Central Michigan on the hardwood. And the Red Hawks trailing the Chippewa 7-1 with 15.02 to go in the first half. Central Michigan inbounds in their own end of the floor. David DeLeo, the pass to Deshaun Winston over the line of the far away, gets it to DeLeo and then back to the far side for Dallas Morgan. Kick to the far corner, Trayvon Broadway Jr. First touch of the game for the Chips. Gets it left wing, three-pointer. DeLeo is fouled. And he's gonna have three, I believe, coming at the line as Delonte Brown came in and made contact with him. Kind of body check DeLeo after shooting off the shot. And DeLeo has three opportunities for free throws here. 88% free throw shooter on the year, leads the Chippewas. And makes the first one. Not the guy you want to send to the line if he has to shoot three. Second one is good from DeLeo. He's out of Iowa City, Iowa. Went to high school at the New Hampton School in New Hampshire. 
And a third free throw good from Taleo to give Central Michigan a nine point 10-1 lead. Sabani gets the ball half court on the inbound pass. Down the right wing, Brown trying to center it across for Bowman. And he got tipped away by the defender. Great play by DeLeo coming back on defense. And a two on one completely broke it up. He tipped it out. So Miami gets it back here with 23 to shoot. And Coleman lands will fire in from the corner. Floater up for Brown near side. Middle of the floor, Makai Larry. Right handed dribble for the Red Hawks. Larry down the right edge, kicks it back far corner, let it go out of bounds in front of the Central Michigan bench, and they say it will stay with the Red Hawks. As Deshaun Winston came in on defense, trying to knock it away. So Coleman lands, top of the key, Larry finds Bowman wide open, and a three is good for Miami's first field goal today. Comes off the hands of Bam Bowman. And the Rocks trail now 10 to four. Right-handed dribble, Winston. Near wing for Broadway Junior, top of the key. Far side, Morgan lifts off the three-pointer. It's good, went in and out and then back in off the glass. And Central gets the points back to take the nine-point lead again, 13 to four. Six minutes in, and Millette, this one here tonight from Millette Hall. Top of the key, it's Larry. Guy Larry, one bounce, near side for Bowman. Hands it off here for Savani. Right-handed dribble, top of the key, reaches right elbow, fires off the jumper, in and out, and then back in again. And Savani gives it a 13-6 central lead. They get it back to the offensive end of the floor quickly. Romeo Burrell, top of the key for Broadway Junior, back to the near wing for Winston. Winston with a left hand. Working here, pushed Larry back, no foul. Winston left lane drive, and we get a foul. Listen on Larry. As Larry was shoved back by Winston when he had the ball on the arc. Larry fell over backwards. They didn't whistle anything and then got up and fouled Winston who was trying to charge through. Winston the inbound pass to Leo, left edge. The floater went around the rim twice, but never dropped through, came out. Back to the way, Rex pushed the ball, but they will fling it out of bounds by themselves as Larry at half court tried to pass it far corner, but it was tipped out. By Sabani to the far side, he couldn't control it. So Winston gets the inbound here for the Chippewas. Right-handed dribble over the middle of the floor. Kicks it for DeLeo, down to the far side for Dallas Morgan. Top of the key, here's Pearl. Near wing for Winston. Baseline drive, kicks it back out. Morgan fires off the long jumper, missed from the near side. And corralled here by Delonte Brown, up for Sabani. Sabani hits the brakes in front of the central bench. Spits it near wing. Larry, middle of the lane drive all the way through. And he got the layup to go with the right arm off the glass in it for a pair, and it's 13 to eight. Central Michigan the lead. Winston kicks it to the near corner. Broadway Jr. walks his way up through the arc to the top of the key. Our side here is Morgan. Right-handed dribble through the paint, and we get a foul as he was tripped up. And this is going to be the fifth team foul against Miami so far here in the first. 12-21 to go here in the first, 13 to eight. And the foul against Coleman Lance, which will be his first personal as he tripped up. The player streaking through. Winston top of the key, Central Michigan, pass far wing, DeLeo, top for Winston. Winston dribbles down the left edge, hits the brakes left elbow, the jumper missed, but it's into the hands of Burl on the rebound, completely beat out Larry Ford. Far corner, Redmond trying to work his way through the baseline, and a drive that time that turned into trying to come back to the near corner, but it was tipped out of bounds by Burl. Coleman Lance forced him to. So Miami will get it here, they'll inbound with 12-1 to go in the first. Dana Grant will be allowed to enter the game for the Red Hawks. And a toss it in will be Delonte Brown. Over the middle of the floor, Grant, pass far wing, Coleman lands. Kicks it far corner, Brown. Right elbow, Savani, back for Coleman lands, top of the key, left wing three, Grant, oh my goodness, went in and out. 
Back to the paint for Saban. He kicks it top of the key again. Coleman lands 15 to shoot. Here's Savani, far wing. Brown, shovel pass, Bowman, far corner. Floats it up, Coleman lands. Grabs control, nearly picked off. Now on the near wing, grab the three and it's good. 11.23 to go here in the first. Red Hawks have made it a two point game. 13 to 11, a flurry of ball movement on that last possession. But the Red Hawks able to fling it in for three points. Bailey Grant with that one is now on the board. Central controls far side, Montgomery. Top of the key, gets it to Broadway Jr. Right side drive, pull away jumper, near wing is good. What an athletic move by Tremont Broadway Jr. Out of Miami, Florida, averaging 7.7 .7 points per game on the year. And grabs his first two of the night there to make it 15 to 11 Central. Down low, Brown got a pass top of the key from Savani. It's off the glass and in for two. And Central Michigan has called a timeout. They're up by two. By a score of 15 to 13 here with 10.44 to go in the first half. Red Hawks trail by just two after being down by nine at one point in the half. And we'll return here with more action in the first. You're listening to Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. At 44 to go here in the first half from Millette in Oxford, 15-13. The Chippewas of Central Michigan lead it over the Red Hawks of Miami. Miami 5 or 12 from the field early on, 41.7%, including 2 for 6 from three-point land. Central Michigan 4 for 13 from the field, 30.8%. They're 2 for 5 from outside the arc for 40%. As the Chippewas here will inbound their defensive end of the floor and quickly get it back over the timeline, Devontae Lane. Kicks it off far wing, and Dallas Morgan controls here for Central Michigan. Up through the middle, a little layup that time. A wide open drive for Morgan, who is undefended up the left wing, and it's off the glass and hit for two. There's Grant over the top line for the Red Hawks. Dribbles right arm on the near wing. The pass top of the key. Sabani, right arm dribbled on the far edge. Picks it off the side of the backboard. Yovic corralled. When it came down, and we get a whistle here for a jump ball as Jovic was tied up. Ball came off the side of the backward. Jovic was the first to grab it. And the possession arrows here with Miami, so the Rock can get it back with 20 to shoot. Was unable to see who exactly tied up the ball, but Rocks will grab it here with a possession arrow in their favor. Far wing outside the arc, Grant to drive in, and he's fouled. As Dana Grant that time trying to foul from Hamlet. And Kevin Hamlet of Scarborough, Ontario, picks up his first. Inbound pass by Grant was floated to an area where nobody was standing, so Devontae Lane picked it up for Central Michigan and grabbed it on the far wing, and he's back the other way for the Chippewas. Lane, the left-handed dribble, reaches top of the key, flings it down toward the paint, corralled here by Hamlet to the 
Right edge and a little floater to miss. Short, Coleman lands the rebound coast to coast. Kicks it left wing, outside the arc. Jovic back for Coleman Lance. Long three is good, wide open was Coleman Lance. Makes it a one point game with 9.37 to go here in the first. A 17-16 lead for Central Michigan. Play in the left-handed dribble, pass to the far wing. Morgan, and down low, we get a whistle here as Montgomery was working his way left side of the post. And Bowman with some contact there to commit Miami's sixth foul as a team here in this first. And Kevin Hamlet quickly back in the game for Central Michigan. Inbound here comes far side of the baseline for the Chips. Lane pass to the far corner. It's Morgan working his way left edge. Fired it over the hoop. Here comes Sabani. Back the other way. Kicks it here away. Coleman lands another three pointer. Gets it to go. And Miami with their first lead of the day at 19 to 17. Lane is back the other way for Central Michigan. Red Hawks up by two now. And Lane coughs it up, left edge. Coleman lands back the other way. A layup is good for Isaiah Coleman lands. Second turnover of the day for Central Michigan. Coleman lands leading the team now with eight. 6 0 run for the Red Hawks in the last 90 seconds. Lane far side kicks it top of the key. Montgomery, the three pointer is good from way downtown. Nothing but net for Rob Montgomery. Only a 26% free, a shooter from outside the arc on the year, but gets that one to go. And both teams three for four in their last four field goals. Coleman Lance has made the last three field goals for the Red Hawks. Savani kicks it far corner. Here is Matt DeBera pivoting here on the left foot with Kevin Hamlin. Top of the key, it's Grant. Steps in and back out. Grant to the free throw line, gets it to go. His jumper by Grant to extend the Miami lead at 23 to 20. Lane over the timeline, far side, switches Dremel from left to right hand. Lane, top of the key, Montgomery works his way to the back. Logo, and we get a foul here. It's an offensive one. It's Montgomery knocking over Jovic up high. Jovic had contact in the head area, fell over backwards. The basket won't count off the hands of Montgomery. And it will be the third team foul for Central Michigan in the half. 7.55 to go in the first half. Red Hawks out to the lead, 23-22 over Central Michigan. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Seven fifty-five is left here in the first half from Oxford. 23-22 lead for the Red Hawks from Miami. But free throws are on the way for Central Michigan's Rob Montgomery out of the break. As I guess I thought they called an offensive foul on Jovic, but instead of blocking foul, 
So Montgomery here will shoot the one free throw and get it to go. So it turns into a three point play for Central Michigan. I beg your pardon, I legitimately thought it was an offensive foul against Montgomery, but it was a blocking foul and so we're tied at 23 after Montgomery completes the three point play. McNamara top of the key for the Red Hawks, holds it above his head, dribbles left side of the lane. We get a whistle here for a foul on Central Michigan. And Leo will grab his first. So Grant, near side of the baseline for McNamara, near corner. Top of the key, Savani returns to Grant, left wing outside the arc. Seven and a half to go here in the first half. Ten seconds to shoot for the Red Hawks. Grant, left-handed dribble, reaches inside the arc, back to the near corner, McNamara top of the key. Savani, right-handed dribble. Will fling it down low, McNamara, far corner, Jovic, a three with a shot clock expiring, gets it to go. 26-23, Miami on top. They're four for five in their last five three-pointers. And we haven't seen this kind of success outside the arc at home from the Red Hawks very often this year. Lane coughs it up top of the game for Central Michigan. Sabani back the other way. Nike Sabani, right elbow, kicks it to the far side for Coleman Lands. Top of the key for Jovic, trails to the left wing. Left wing drive for Jovic, back outside the arc for Sabani. Sabani reaches the free throw line. Nice left-handed dribble, what a move that time on Lane and Sabani. The left-handed drop off the glass and in for two. Montgomery left away for Central Michigan. Pulls up left elbow, jumper short. Sabani and Coleman Lance come down for the rebound. Over the line on the right wing, here's Grant. Gets it to the far corner. Here's McNamara, the left-handed dribble. Kicks it out, top of the key. Sabani the three, yes sir! Seven points of the night for Sabani. 31-23 Miami, an 8-0 run in the last 90 seconds. Here's Lane. Reaches the back logo and his try to the middle of the lane, tipped away by McNamara and out of bounds. Second block of the game for Elisha McNamara out of midair as Devontae Lane, the middle lane drive. Completely upended and this Central Michigan team struggling here with 6.02 to go in the first, trailing by nine to Miami. And the Rex have put together a pretty nice string in the past five minutes or so. Uh, playing the way that they are potentially could play, and, and they're good and when they want to play well. Sabani over the line right wing, kicks it back for Larry, and then back to Sabani, and it goes out of bounds to the far side. Miscommunication there for the Red Hawks on the offensive eye to the floor. And Central Michigan here will end up the far wing, David DeLeo. To half court for Deshaun Winston. Catches it here for the Chippewas. DeLeo far side, left elbow. Broadway Jr., a little jumper that time, in and out. McNamara returns over for Coleman Lance. Coleman Lance left handed dribble, top of the key. Kicks it here, wing for Larry. Walks it across the arc to the right wing. Pass near wing, Coleman Lance. Top of the key, Larry holds with 12 to shoot. 5.20 left here in the first. Near side, Savani, right-handed dribble. It's tipped away by Winston. Back to the hands of Coleman Lance, who gets it with three to shoot. Middle lane drive for him. Floater up too hard. Montgomery crashing the rebound. Stripped away, Jovic! And a pull away jumper's good for Milos Jovic. What a play, 33-23, a 10-point lead. Rob Montgomery, left elbow, Central Michigan working on McNamara, the shot too far left. As he got some room, Savani corrals the rebound for Miami, the far corner. Thank you, Savani, left hand a dribble, one bounce to the far wing, control here, Coleman Lance flings it, near corner, Jovic, three pointer, gets it! Timeout, Central Michigan, 36-23 Miami. A 13-0 run in the last three minutes and 10 seconds for the Red Hawks. 15-3 run in the last four minutes. And the Miami Red Hawks are nine for 10 in their last 10 shots from the field. Second time out of the game is used here by the Chippewas with Miami out to the 13 point lead. We were tied at 23. until the Red Hawks have strung 13 straight points together to take the 36-23 advantage over the Chippewas. And a Central Michigan team that's only won two games 
on the road this year. And you can kind of see why tonight they're really struggling, not playing as a unit. But the Red Hawks have been. This is probably the best few minutes we've seen from Miami at home all year long in terms of how they're able to work. They're making shots, getting them to go, taking high percentage shots. Rucks, they can play like that. They can make some noise in the MAC tournament. So maybe surprise a team or two if they could consistently find this type of game. Travel here gets the chip. Wise as Morgan. Middle aid drive was taking three steps before a dribble. I guess to give a foul to Morgan too, maybe a push off, but it was definitely the travel as well. Livick the inbound here for Larry in his own end. Left-handed dribble over the timeline here, middle of the floor. 4.15 they left here in the first. 36-23 lead for Miami. Near wing Coleman lands, far side for Larry. Back to the near wing for Coleman lands. They work it around outside the arc. You can tell Miami's having fun right now. Larry top of the key, six to shoot, stripped away momentarily by Broadway Jr. Larry gets it back, far side, downtown three, Jovic. Way short for an air ball. And it's out of bounds after that. Central Michigan will get it back. It looks like we have a media timeout as well after this. Miami still on the 13-0 run in the last three and a half minutes or so. They lead it by a score of 36-23 over the Chippewas from Central Michigan. We're back in a flash. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hot Radio. Six twenty-three lead for Miami over Central Michigan. Patrick Eshu back with you on Red Hawk Radio tonight at three fifty-two left here in the first half. And these two teams met back in Mount Pleasant on January fourth, with the Chippewas beating Miami ninety-three eighty-two. Dallas Morgan, the point leader for Central Michigan, he had twenty-three in that game. Nike Sabani had twenty-two for Miami. It was mostly a close game until halftime. Central Michigan in the second half shot 57% from the field to pull away. And the chip wides with the ball here out of the timeout. Top of the key in the offensive end of the floor. Kevin McKay has it for Central. Our side pass, Romeo Burl. Gave it off to Leo. Inside the arc, stripped away. Jovic tips it high in the air. Precious side, his first touch of the game, and it's up for Grant. Over the line on the far side, but... And they will say an illegal touch violation on Grant. Or no, it's a foul on Aya away from the play. Referee pointed toward Grant, but Aya ends up getting the foul for Miami's eighth as a team, so Central has the bonus with 3.13 left here in the first. McKay, one bounce to the far side, controlled here by Lane, left hand dribble, left elbow. Kicks it to the near side. Burrow catches the pass high above his head, floats it off the glass, no good. 
as he ran into his own teammate trying to get the shot off in the paint. Damon DeLeo is down. And he needs help from his teammates to rise back to his feet. And DeLeo limping a little bit. Head coach Keno Davis of Central Michigan asking to lay if he's all right, and he says he is, so he'll stay in. Rocks will bring McNamara back into the game with three minutes to go here in the first. Precious Isle will come out after a brief stint in this one. So free throws coming for Romeo Burrell. And the first one is good in the one-on-one -on -one situation. Burrell did not appear in their last game against Toledo. Appeared in 15 minutes, but had no points against Miami on January the 4th in the first meeting of the year. Second free throw is good, 36-25. The Miami lead now with less than three minutes to go here in the first half. Sabani, top of the key for Coleman Lands. Gives it off for Jovic, right-handed dribble. Milos Jovic here will work his way around the top of the key looking for options. Hands back for Grant, Danny Grant. Near side, outside the arc. Top of the key for Sabandi. Left-handed dribble to the right elbow. Kicks it far corner, Jovic. Left-handed dribble to the free throw line. A little try far side. Missed on the floater with the shot clock expiring. Burrow gets it back and over the time on left wing is Devontae Lane. Lane gets it far corner. Control here by DeLeo. Left elbow, fires off. Little spin around jumper. It's good for 10 feet out. 36-27 the lead. Red Hawks have been scoreless here in the last two minutes and 30 seconds. Grant right-handed dribble. Reaches the right elbow, pull-up jumper, missed with 18 to shoot. The rebound crashing down, multiple bodies. Grant able to work it free, and an offensive board here for the Red Hawks will keep it alive. Savani top of the key for Jovic. Coleman Lance, full to the far corner. Here's McNamara working on DeLeo. Pull away jumper, McNamara with seven to shoot. That missed, rebound in the hands of Jovic and kicks it back for Dane Grant with 18 to shoot. And as there acts another offensive board to keep this possession alive with 90 seconds left in the first half. Grant, right elbow, tries the right lane drive. His shot off an arm and went out of bounds off DeLeo. And Central Michigan here will give it back to Miami. Will inbound far side of the baseline with seven to shoot. And 129 remaining here in the first. Rob Montgomery for Central Michigan waits as Grant gets into the far corner. Here's Sabani, right-handed dribble. Fires off a three-pointer right wing with two to shoot. Missed another offensive rebound though for the Red Hawks. This time McNamara works his way for room in the paint and floats it off and in with his left hand. 110 to go here in the first, an 11-point Miami lead. Lane the left-handed dribble down the far wing. It's stripped away here by Coleman Lance. Fuller pass up ahead. Jovic breakaway was tripped from behind. And we get a whistle here as Montgomery was the one who tripped him. Jovic goes down hard to the cheerleaders. But that was all that Montgomery could do to prevent Jovic from making the basket. And Jovic limping, understandably so, coming up from that. Six. And Montgomery will grab his first. Some of the Miami players and coaches were yelling for a flagrant or something, but it'll just be a regular foul. Jovic, free throw short on the first one. He's just a 54% free throw shooter on the year. Nine points in the start at Kent State the other night. Jovic. Starting tonight as well. Gets the second one to drop, and Central Michigan here will take it back down 39 27. Devontae Lane over the left wing at the timeline here for the Chippewas. They have 20 to shoot. Gets it far away. Here's Montgomery in the paint and was working there on McNamara. We get a travel here as he went up for a shot. They came back down, took a couple steps, and then that's when the whistle was blown. So Grant returns down the floor here for the Red Hawks with 40 seconds left. Reaches right elbow, kicks it near wing. Savani, top of the key, Jovic, far side three. Coleman lands short. In the hands of Broadway Jr. over the line, left wing for Central. 25 to shoot, third 29 left here in the half. Back to the far wing for Morgan. The right-handed dribble works it to the baseline. And now he walks his way up the right wing, up to near half court. There's 10 seconds left to shoot. 
13 here in the game, or in the first half rather. It's on the game clock. And the drive from Morgan who's tripped up back to the way. Here's Sabandi. Will go coast to coast with a right-handed layup that missed. Good defense that time for Broadway Jr. Who made his way all the way back to break up the play. It's tipped out of bounds off the Red Hawks. And Central Michigan here with a shot clock off. Gets it back with two and a half seconds to go in the first. Wayne gets the inbound up the left wing, reaches the timeline. The half court shot missed too far left. It's off the backboard and no good. And the Central Michigan Chippewas and the Miami Red Hawks head to the locker room after 20 minutes with Miami leading by a score of 39 to 27. These two teams separated by 12 points after the first half. Leading score for the Rocks after 20, Milos Jovic, he has nine. Following him, Isaiah Coleman lands with eight. For Central Michigan, David DeLeo has 10 points to by far lead the team. The second one closest to him, Rob Montgomery, who has six tonight. For Central Michigan, uh, both teams were hot there for a second in that first half. Both teams were at a point where I think they were making four of their last five field goals. They were both very hot, but as of late, both teams offensively pretty cold as Miami ends that half one for nine in their last nine field goal. Central Michigan one for six in their past six and score. Listen, the last two minutes and 15 seconds. So that's where we stand so far after 20 minutes here from Millette. 39-27 is the Miami lead after half number one. Red Hawks leading some pretty important statistical categories there. Out-rebounding Central Michigan defensively 13-10. Out-rebounding them offensively 9-3. The Red Hawks with nine offensive boards. In those first 20 minutes, Miami nine assists to Central Michigan's three. And points in the paint led by the Red Hawks after 20 by a 10 to six margin. Turnovers as well led by Central Michigan by a nine seven margin here after 20 from Oxford. So 39-27 is the halftime lead for Miami. We're back with the second half in about 13 minutes or so. Stay with us, the second half action on its way momentarily. You're listening to Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
20 minutes around the clock here as we begin the second half. Patrick Eschen back with you here on Red Hawk Radio is a 39-27 lead for Miami beginning the second frame. And we'll see if the Red Hawks can hold on here in the half. Central Michigan back to the way. And the Chippewas here offensively start the half off. Kevin McKay off the glass and in with the right arm for two. There's Rocks here trying to move the ball up the right way. Danny Grant had it tipped out of bounds off the hands of Lane. Central Michigan here will play defense. 1938 left here in the second. Redox top of the key. Grant shovel pass near wing. Coleman lands, returns to Grant top of the key. Dribbles around the arc. Back up for Savani. Right handed dribble. We'll hand it back. Here's Grant. Here's his right elbow. Pass to the near wing. McNamara, top of the key. Coleman Lance, three to shoot. Jovic, long three. Downtown left wing off the glass. And then the rim. And then bounced out. And Rob Montgomery grabs it here for Central Michigan. Pass at the left wing. Morgan catches the ball with the right arm dribble. Reaches top of the key for Central Michigan. Devontae Lane. Shovel pass Morgan. Top of the key. Back for Lane, far side of the corner. Montgomery here for Central. Top of the key for Lane. Shovel pass near wing. Here's DeLeo. Far side for Montgomery. Three-pointer is short, and it's picked up here by Grant. Returns back to the way. Sabandi, though, will travel. Got the pass right wing, and according to the referee, took a couple too many steps. With 18.42 left here in the second. Ten-point Miami lead. Mentioned the Red Hawks scoreless in the last two and a half minutes or so, going back to the first half. Central Michigan works the ball to the paint. Nice play by McKay. Works his way on a baseline drive, and it's good off the glass and in with the right arm. Grant the right-handed dribble over the line of the left wing. The shovel pass for Coleman Lance. One bounce to the near wing. Here's Jovic. Works it outside the arc, back for Coleman Lands. Yolvik near corner, fires the three, it's in and out, and then back in. That ball hit the iron, went off the high part of the backboard and dropped through. Central back the other way. Here's Montgomery under the hoop, works for position, gets a right-handed shot good off the glass. As McNamara that time was the defender, but unable to win the battle. Racks up the floor, pass bars. Side to the near wing as Sabandi trying to go cross court for Jovic. Jovic tipped it out of bounds. It was too high for him to grab. Rocks give it back here with 17.48 to go in the second. A 42 33 lead for Miami. Lane over the line, middle of the floor. Right handed dribble. Switches left arm, top of the key. Morgan fires the three pointer. It's too hard. McNamara gave up positioning again for Montgomery who gets two offensive rebounds and two unsuccessful shots from the post. And McNamara gets the third unsuccessful one. So here is Grant at the left wing, coast to coast. And a foul was here here as he got to the post and contact that time. So Bowman in for Miami, McNamara comes out. And Bowman here will grab the inbound from Grant in the far corner. Sabani back for Grant. Holds it above his head, pass to the left edge. Bowman right-handed dribble, kicks it across near a wing. Wide open three, Sabani way too hard. And Central Michigan corrals the rebound here. They're over the middle of the floor. Devontae Lane, far side pass, three-pointer. In and out off the hands of Tuleo. Rebound picked up here by Coleman Lance. Back to the way for the Red Hawks. Coleman Lance reaches the Mac logo in the paint. The dish back, top of the key. Grant gets the shot off, no good. It's in and out, but gets his own rebound coming in, and the shot off the glass miss from the right edge of the post. He tries there for Grant, unsuccessful on both. Lane, the kick back to half court. He tried to pick it up as trying to pass to Winston, who was behind him, and oh, Miami player is down. That's Grant. He's face down on the floor. And able to get up on his own power and the help of Sabandi, but Nick Grant here will get up and have to walk off the floor as the Rocks will send Makai Larry into the game to replace him.
So Grant appears to be bleeding as he has a towel to his face at the bench. So Deshaun Winston for Central Michigan, the far side. Ball pass to the middle here, and Lane catches the ball for the Chippewas. Left-handed dribble to Montgomery with six to shoot. Montgomery, right hand to the middle, a little shot off the glass, missed on a drive going cross court. Savannah corrals the rebound for Miami. Top of the key pass, Bowman sidesteps the three-pointer from DeLeo, and Savani will go up and under in a baseline drive to the near corner. 16 minutes left here in the second. 44-33, the lead for the Redhawks. Caught here on the far corner by McKay. Works his way to the free throw line, but missed the shot. Back to the way, here's Larry. Near a wing for a three-pointer. Coleman Lance gets it to go. Coleman Lance, three for five from outside the arc today. And the Redhawks as a team, 50% for three-point land. Winston left dead, trying to work for positioning. His shot missed on Coleman. Bowman grabs the rebound with 15 and a half to go in the second. They are going back and forth here at Millette Hall tonight. Larry top of the key. Sabandi near wing. Here's Bowman cross court. Bullet to the far corner. And Jovic tried a three but missed it. But they blew it all dead beforehand as a foul whistle under the hoop. Some contact here. And it appears that... Bam Bowman will grab his third personal foul and we'll head to immediate timeout. 15-21 to go here in the second. A 47-33 lead for the Red Hearts. Here tonight at Oxford trying to grab their fourth map one of the year. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Get you back with you on Red Hawk Radio tonight. A 47-33 lead for the Miami men's basketball team over Central Michigan. And this is the first of five games here this weekend in three days on Red Hawk Radio. We'll have hockey tomorrow night at Cogney Ice Center. Red Hawks taking on Omaha at 7 o'clock. More on that in a moment. And Central here works the ball top of the key. It's DeLeo. Right-handed dribble. Passes the far wing. Caught there by Burl, gets it back on the return feed from Winston. Winston far side, left-handed dribble, down low, Burl off the glass and it's in for two. On the right edge of the post and a press here by Central Michigan, Milos Jovic has to call a timeout from beyond his own baseline. And Central Michigan this time trying the full court press and the Red Hawks were not expecting it. They will call their first, or excuse me, second timeout of the game with 14.53 to go in the second and this will be a media timeout as well. 47-35, the Miami lead over Central Michigan. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio.
We're back in Millette Hall, Miami, leading Central Michigan 47-35 here from Oxford. Mention the hockey game tomorrow on Red Hawk Radio. Hope you'll join us at 7 o'clock, Miami and Omaha. Then Saturday, three games coming your way here on our YouTube channel. 1 o'clock, the women's basketball team takes on Akron here at home at 3.30. The Miami men's basketball team finishes off the hoops doubleheader as they will play Bowling Green at 3.30 and then hockey again Saturday night at 7 here on Red Hawk Radio. It's five games in three days and I hope you'll join us this weekend for a busy weekend of Miami sports in Oxford. Full court press for Central Michigan. Coleman lands the inbound here on the near side. We'll find Makai Larry as he's defended by Broadway Jr. And Larry able to push his way over the timeline here on the right wing. Reaches the arc, plays it off the glass, no good. It's corralled here by McNamara. And the play was whistled down, I guess. The foul against McNamara made contact before getting the rebound. And from back with the floor the other way. Deshaun Winston kicks it outside the arc, Broadway Jr. Flings it near wing for Morgan, down low to the left elbow to Leo. Works his way on Brown, flings it out for the far side. Three-pointer is short. That time off the hands of Morgan. It's taken back by Brown, who gives it up for Larry. Brown over the line on the left wing, kicks it far side. Coleman Lance holds it above his head for Sabandi. Who's top of the key? Coleman Lance back to the near wing from Akai Larry. Far side, Coleman Lance held it above his head. Far corner, here's McNamara, gave it back for a three-pointer. Brown way too hard. Delonte Brown, who only has two points of the night. He has been struggling the past 10 games or so. Morgan grabs it for Central, a left wing drive. We get a whistle here for a foul. It's Larry will give Miami their fifth team foul of the half already with 13.54 to go in the second. Forty-seven, thirty-five. Winston a give and go with Burrell on the inbound here for Central Michigan. Winston left-handed dribble around the arc near wing. Deleo three-pointer too far left. It's corralled here by McNamara. He gives it up for Larry over the line, middle of the floor. Larry far away. Coleman Lance controls here for the Red Hawks. Thirteen and a half to go in the second. Miami. 41.9% for the field tonight. Better than usual. Larry far side, outside the arc. The one bounce to the paint. It's Brown, gave it off McNamara, the two-handed slam. Wide open in the post. 49-35, the Miami lead. Broadway Jr. back for Winston. Outside the arc in the left wing. That was a momentous Slam dunk by Elijah McNamara, who's been a huge impact player tonight. Left wing, Broadway Jr. cuts across, right-handed hook shot, miss for the back logo, offensive rebound, tip back out to Central. Delayo, left wing, pulls in for a jumper, that miss from 15 feet, and the rebound corralled right side of the post. A foul whistled here as Burrell tried to go up for the shot. And face of contact, and able to get it to go. Brown will get his second personal foul. And free throws on their way here from Romeo Burrell. Makes the first one. Winner for points for Miami tonight is Milos Jovic. He has 12. Four for 10 for the field is Jovic. Three for five for three point land. Burrell makes the second. And 12.40 left here in the second. 49-37, Miami the lead. No more of that full court press for Central Michigan. They decided to go away from that. Knox freely move it over the timeline here. Brown the near corner. McNamara holds it both arms. Pass down. Low Coleman Lance cutting across the post. Got the pass and the right handed layup is good. Winston over the line on the left wing for Central. Right handed dribble. Sway down to the far side. Little handoff to McKay. Works his way to the near corner. Caught here by Burrell. Baseline drive on McNamara. McNamara to work the ball away and a foul whistled here. McNamara didn't think there was enough contact. He dipped his shoulder just a little bit. And the referees here are explaining the call to him. 
With 12.05 left in the second and a free throw line here, it's gonna be Burrell, I believe, shooting two and it will be. He'll step up. Just went one for two at the line. The first one is good. Romeo Burrell, again, did not play at Central's last game against Toledo. 6'7", 181 junior out of Chicago. Second one is good as well. So a 51-39 lead for the Red Hawks now. They're up by 12. Sabani kicks it back. Larry over the line, middle of the floor. Coleman Lance, shovel pass, left elbow. Sabani knocked it out of the baseline. And it's out of bounds on Miami as the Red Hawks had a bit of a careless possession in terms of ball movement. And with 11.57 to go here in the second, Miami leading it by a score of 51 to 39. We're back in a moment on Red Hawk Radio. This is Miami Basketball. Thirty-nine is the Miami lead with 11.57 remaining here in the second. And the Red Hawks saw top of the chip wise of Central Michigan. 15 for 34 from the field was Miami in the first half. That's 44.1%. They're 5 for 11 in the second at 45.5%. For Central Michigan, they were just 8 for 24 from the field in the first at 33.3%. 4 for 15 in the second, 26.7%. So it is the field goal shooting that's been the major issue for Central Michigan tonight. Just unable to sink baskets. Sean Winston outside the arc near a wing for the chip wise. Hands it back for Kevin McKay. The right handed drum when he's outside the arc along the near wing. Okay, top of the key, reaches the right elbow. Little floater off the glass. Missed right edge of the post and it comes down. And they get a whistle here for a foul as Burrell was working on contact with Coleman Lance. And Burrell grabs his second on the rebound. Full court press here for Central. Larry catches the pass again and go on the inbound for Coleman Lance. Coleman Lance over the line, middle of the floor. Right handed dribble to the near wing. Gets it top of the key for Larry. Pass far side here, Savani. Back up top, Coleman Lance has it above his head. Gets it to the left elbow. Sabani, jumper, good. Pretty long one there, Sabani gets it to go. And it's those mid-range shots that he can hit. 53-39, the Miami lead. 11 3 to go here in the second. Winston, right-handed dribble. Pass near wing for Morgan, holds the ball for Central. Flings it down to the far corner. Burrell fires the three off. It's off the iron, bounced up, bounced off again. Into the hands of Savani on the rebound over the timeline on the left wing. It's the breaks top of the key. Larry near corner. Coleman Lance, one bounce to Larry. Reaches right elbow. Passes over to Brown, and he was knocked away. A block, but a foul was on the play as Burrell came through to knock it through with the right hand. And Burrell will grab his second. 
or excuse me, his third, the team second. And Brown here at the line for a pair. Miami out rebounding Central 32 22 as well. And the first one is good from Talante Brown. 79% free throw shooter on the year. Had just five points in the Miami's last game at Kent State a couple nights ago. And tonight for Delonte Brown, he has three. One for two from the field, 0 for one for three point land. And the second one is good as well. 55-39 to Miami lead, 10-37 left in the second. Over the line the far wing is Devontae Lane, the right-handed dribble for Central Michigan. Lane hits the brakes far corner, gets the top of the key, Montgomery. Left-handed dribble to the left elbow, kicks it back. McKay near wing outside the arc 12 to shoot, works his way free through line, Montgomery. Near side, the three-pointer, that's good. He was wide open. And we get a whistle here, his contact. Couple players tied up, Miami trying to inbound the ball. DeLeo and Makai Larry cannot get away from each other. They just blow it dead, there's gonna be no fouls. Referee gets in there to separate. They weren't fighting or anything, they just couldn't let go. 10-17 left here in the second. Coleman Lance gets it far corner. Larry races up the left wing, pass ahead from the Miami bench. McNamara gets it over the timeline. Top of the key, Savani has it here for the Red Ox. Borrowing for Larry, left-handed dribble outside the arc. For Coleman Lance, near wing Brown, holds it above his head, reaches the free throw line, stripped away by Lane. Up ahead, McKay, partial breakaway, angled off by Coleman Lance, but McKay, the spin around move, right hand to layup, missed. And then coming in to finish it off was Winston, left side of the post, off the glass and in. As the ball hung on the rim, Winston grabbed it and fired it in. Rocks back the other way, stretch pass forward, Savani. Near corner, trying to work it back, get a whistle here, a timeout on this Miami offensive possession. They will use their third of the game with 9.38 to go here in the second. And a 30 second timeout here for the Red Hawks who have just one timeout remaining. And we're just over a little halfway through the second half. 55-44 Miami lead. Red Hawks 45.7% for the field. Central Michigan 31.8. Red Hawks are 47.4% from three-point land today. Central 30.8%. And a little 5-0 run for the chips in the last minute and three seconds. Rex has a team three for four in their last four field goals. And now Isaiah Coleman Lance has the lead of points for Miami today with 13. Jovic now has 12. It is Rob Montgomery for Central Michigan who has 11. So Miami inbounds here, offensive end of the floor after the timeout, 20 to shoot, top of the key, it's Grant. Left-handed dribble, walks it across the arc, the pass in your wing for Jovic. And you see Jovic over to Grant. Danny Grant's got the ball for the Red Hawks. Reaches right elbow, trying to right side drive. That time is stripped away by DeLeo. Pass to the far corner, caught by McKay. Centering feet across. As he right in front of the basket was Montgomery. Had two chances, couldn't finish off the shot. Loose ball picked up, Coleman Lance dishes left wing. Sabani lost control, Central grabs it at their own end. Lane back the other way. Pass far side, Montgomery. Far corner, three-pointer short off the hands of DeLeo. It's picked up by Coleman Lands at the free throw line. He's over the timeline, left wing. Gets it over, Savani tries the three, and it's good, wide open. And the crowd likes that. Rocks up by 14 at 58-44. Montgomery outside the arc, left wing. Eight and a half to go. And he fired off a jumper and a foul. Whistle it here, it won't count. As Grant was sent tumbling to the floor. Under the hoop. While the shot was coming off, DeLeo will grab his second. And the team's third. As Coleman Lance here is going to inbound next for the Red Hawks. Savani out as well. He has 14 on the night to take the Miami team lead in points away from Coleman Lance. 
Lomalins remains on the floor to win bound this one. Full court press, Central Michigan. Gets it far corner, Grant. Taleo locked him up. Cross court feed the near wing. And Makai Larry had it tipped out of bounds by Lane. Larry got a hand up in his face. I think Lane tipped his left eye trying to go for the ball as Larry trying to walk it off. He's blinking. Coleman Lance comes in to take the inbound. Larry seems to be fine. He's probably just trying to sell a foul. Over the line, here's Day Day Grant, reaches the Mac logo on a middle lane drive, dishes right edge of the post, Jovic fresh off the bench, can't get the shot to go, but Brown collects the rebound, dishes top of the key, Coleman lands the charge in, we get a whistle for a foul on his defender, Trayvon Broadway Jr. His first, Broadway Jr. has played at two community colleges before coming to Miami, had stints at Iowa Western and St. Petersburg. Jovic hands back, Larry right-handed dribble to the left elbow, the dish back, Coleman Lance, long three-pointer is too hard. Grabs here by Montgomery, up the other way, Lane cross-court feed, it's picked off here by Larry, and he comes all the way down the floor, Jovic cross-court as he got the feed in the fourth corner, trying to move his way to the middle, and a clear foul that time. As David DeLeo came in with his right arm to basically slash the left arm of Jovic, and we get a foul on that on Central Michigan. 58-44, the Miami lead with 7.55 to go in the second. This is Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. We're back in a flash after this. We are back at Oxford, 7.55 left here in the second, a 58-44 lead for the Miami Red Hawks over the Chippewas of Central Michigan. That's the only game going on in the MAC tonight, understandably on a Thursday, is again, they make, they are making up this game tonight from January 28th with those coronavirus concerns on the Miami campus back then. And Jovic's first free throw coming out of the timeout. Milos Jovic missed it. 53.6% free throw shooter on the year. Remember, he was fouled on cross court move before the timeout. Couple dribbles for Jovic. Fires off the ball and missed on the second one. He went 0 for 2 at the line. So here's Lane over the line for Central Michigan. Left handed dribble, middle of the floor. Continuing to work his way around the arc, hands it off to Leo on the screen from Lane, missed the three-pointer, and here is Coleman Lance back the other way for the Red Hawks. Over the line, it's Grant, reaches the right edge, fires it off the glass, no good. Picked up here by the Chips, Morgan over the line, left wing. We'll get to the left elbow, and we get foul whistled here as Grant went over backwards. An offensive violation against Central Michigan, Dallas Morgan completely Body checking Grant over backwards there. And Grant wasn't acting either. 
That court press for Central. 7.23 to go in the second. Coleman Lance, ball above his head, finds Larry. Over the top line right away. Coleman Lance, fast break the other way, gets to the post, fired off, right arm no good. Yovic, couple tips and a try at it. And a foul whistle there as Yovic came in trying to clean up the mess. And Coleman Lance made a foul whistle here on Yovic's tip. And they're going to get Damon DeLeo. And that will be his fourth personal, so he's the first one officially in foul trouble for the chips today. Jovic back to the line for the Red Hawks. First free throw in and out. He has not done well at free throws this year. Just one for five now from the line tonight. And we mentioned about a 50% free throw shooter coming in. Miami has a team now in this one. Four for nine from the charity stripe. And Jovic has to nearly walk back to half court to reset himself before this next one. As Central Michigan brought DeLeo out, put K in. Second one, good by Jovic. Two for six now from the line today. Central inbounds here to the far corner. Devontae Lane, left-handed dribble over the middle of the floor for the chips. It's the breaks free throw line, fires it off the glass, no good. It's corralled under the hoop by McKay. We get a whistle here. Four foul on Miami. And they say Bowman will grab his fourth. And Miami seventh as a team, it's too much contact. That's it for Bam Bowman. So here is McKay for Central Michigan. The shot on the free throw, missed short. On his first attempt, McKay 72.1% free throw shooter on the year. He's now two for three in the line tonight. Van Bowman's gonna come out of the game for the Rocks. Between free throws, McNamara's back in. Second one missed by McKay. As Jovic grabbed control, over the line far away. Grant passing the near wing for Larry. Top of the key, Coleman Lance. Back to the far side, Jovic with a right-handed dribble here for Miami. It's the Miami at half court. Pass far side for Grant. Dishes it for Coleman Lance, but it was behind him. Back to the way, two on one for Central. Lane will take it all the way down the right side and get it to go for an and one. Off to glass it in, he had two on one, but decided to keep it for himself. And Devontae Lane, the guard of Iowa City, Iowa, will head to the line for a chance at a three point play with a 59 46 Miami lead. Lane's free throw is good. So now a 12 point Red Hawk lead at 59 47. Full court press for Central. Coleman Lance walks across the baseline to inbound it, and it was upended. And that time, Sabani stripped of the ball. It's taken by Morgan to put off the glass and in for two. And Central Michigan pressing again. Coleman Lance far corner. Excuse me, that's Larry actually. He's fouled, trying to come out of his own end. Is Trayvon Broadway Jr. that time getting some contact in on the hands of Makai Larry? With 6.32 left here in the second, a 59-49 lead for the Red Hawks. And Larry will shoot one and one. First what's good off the hands of Makai Larry. 70% free throw shooter on the year. Team high seven assists in their last game against Kent State. He's come off the bench in four of the past five games. Played over 20 minutes in all those appearances. And tonight, Kai Larry appearing in 15 minutes. Will probably be over 20 with 6.32 left here in the second. Central Michigan coming out of their own end with the ball. Here's Winston over the middle of the floor for the Chips. Pass to the near wing, controlled here by Dallas Morgan. Works his way right down bow and a pass to the near side out of bounds. Montgomery was the intended target, but he was two feet right. And went right to this court side seating. Miscommunication there from Central Michigan and their head coach Keno Davis is halfway out on the floor just looking appalled at what his team just did. Miscommunication there and 
in from Michigan bench. He's going crazy right now about some of the calls as well as Keno Davis down at half court talking to the referees for a 30 second timeout. He better get in the huddle as time running out here on this timeout. 6.18 to go in the second, 61-49 is the lead for Miami. For Central Michigan, the wheels have just kind of fallen off the bus, I guess you could say, this year. If they drop this one, it would be seven in a row. They're third in the MAC West. They've won six games in the MAC. They had a very good start to the year in the Mid-American Conference, but since about the start of the new year, they have not won a MAC game. You'll make the inbound near side. Miami defensive end of the floor. Finds Coleman Lance near corner. The dish to the middle. Larry's pass picked off. And down the floor, Broadway Jr. had a wide open lay to put it up and in for two. Yova coming out of his own end. Finds Coleman Lance back the other way. One bounce down low. McNamara, the two handed slam. Nobody was down there. Montgomery, the only one about two feet away. A nice play. McNamara's second dunk in the game, 63 51. So that time the press hurt Central Michigan. Morgan to the right elbow, the pass down low. It's corralled here, but lost by Broadway Jr. A tie-up whistle as Coleman Lance got his hands in there, and the possession arrow favoring the Red Hawks will get it back with 5.45 left here in the second. And Central Michigan will send DeLeo back in the game, who again has four fouls tonight. Milos Jovic in the far corner for the Red Hawks will fling this one in. And the referees here waiting to throw it in, getting some player sets. Central Michigan again the press. Down by 12. Jovic one bounce, it's in a Larry. Finds Coleman Lance, middle of the floor, all the time line right away. Cross court feed to the far side for Jovic. Pulls up with a right handed dribble to center court. Back for Coleman Lance, far side. It's McNamara, controls the ball above his head. Top of the key, Coleman Lance holds it for the Red Hawks. One bounce to the far wing, controlled outside the arc. McNamara, top of the key. Jovic walks his way back with five to shoot. Jovic in and back out, fires off the three, and it's good! They say just two, actually, is Jovic right on the line. But a great shot, gives Miami the 14-point lead. And Jovic now is 15 in the game. Winston, top of the key to Leo, back to the near wing for Morgan. Controls the nearest chest. Walks it toward the top of the key with 4.57 to go. Morgan down the left edge here. Could not get a shot to go instead of foul. Oh, Wilson on Miami. And Jovic will grab his third personal. So Morgan here to the free throw line for a pair for Central. And the first one is good. Disappointing, there are no students at the game tonight. Well, there are students here, but no student section, I guess you could say. Here is Coleman lands over the right wing on the timeline. Back to the far side, almost trapped in for the Miami bench. Finds Larry, middle of the floor, jumper at the free throw line is good. 67-52, Mackay Larry having a pretty good night. Now up to six. He's playing a lot of minutes, too. Winston top of the game for Central, four and a half to go in the second. Far side, Broadway Jr. Flings it around to the near corner, McKay to the middle of the floor, DeLeo, and off the glass, no good. Rebound picked up here by Larry, pass to the far side. Coleman Lance shovels it up to the far corner. Jovic the catch for the Red Hawks. Left side, McNamara, flings it to the near wing. Control here, Sabani, top of the key, three-pointer, yes. Fade away on Dallas Morgan, 70-52, the Miami lead. Winston for Central, near wing pass for Morgan, flings it cross-court, DeLeo. Far away, McKay, three-pointer, in and out. Corral here by McNamara, the dish back for Jovic. Right-handed dribble over the top line, far away is Milos Jovic. Pass to the Miami M at half court, Coleman Lance, far wing here, Sabani. Top of the key, it is Larry. Near wing for Coleman Lance, returns for Larry with three and a half to go here in the second. An 18-point Miami lead, they're trying to just plea the clock out, five to shoot. 
Larry got a screen from McNamara, drive down the right side, it's off the glass and in. Larry dodging three maroon jerseys that time to get it in. Miami a 20 point lead, Morgan three pointer, missed it too far left. Sabani corrals the rebound at the other end of the floor. Redhawks one point away from their largest lead of the game. They're up by 20 with three minutes left. And the crowd here at Millette making noise for Miami Mets basketball team that's put together their best effort at home this season, it seems like tonight. Larry right-handed dribble through the Mac logo. Now the drive on the right wing and gets it to go. Again, overcoming the tremendous odds to get that basket through, dodging three Chippewas on the drive. McKay to the middle of the floor, stripped away at the offensive end, back to the way, Coleman lands, layup missed. Too hard that time, and it goes out of bounds off of Miami, and they will take a timeout here. And Millette Hall, the Red Hawks and Chippewa set to the benches, and Miami will get a standing ovation from some of the fans here in attendance tonight. Leading Central Michigan with 2.27 to go in the second by a score of 74 to 52. 22 point lead is the largest for Miami tonight. Rocks on top here in Oxford, it's Miami basketball on Red Hawk Radio. On 227 left in the second, a 74 52 lead for Miami over Central Michigan here from Millette Hall tonight. Pops will get you back with the air. Glad you're with us on Red Hawk Radio this evening. Is we're back on the air tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Miami hockey taking on the Omaha Mavericks in the last home regular season series for the Red Hawks on the season on the hot hockey side of things. Begins tomorrow, 7 o'clock Eastern time here on Red Hawk Radio against the Mavericks of Omaha. Central offensive end of the floor, stripped away, Larry over the left way. Sabani trying to Jordan style dunk but missed it. He came down too hard, the crowd going nuts. A Tomahawk style dunk from Sabani but came down too hard and able to get it to go and we get a whistle here for I believe a timeout called by Jack Owens. Actually, we're gonna bring Benjamin Lutkin and Michael Ritchie into the game. Josh Brewer, precious eye in as well. Rocks at nine to shoot. As Owens wanted the substitution. And Lutkin here will inbound for the Red Hawks. Lutkin and Ritchie in the game for the first time today. They've appeared, both of them, in just eight games this season. The last for both was in Athens against Ohio on February 8th. They had one minute, but no points. Larry, a floater is good from the right side. 76-52, Makai Larry now with 12 points in the night. 17 for Sabani is the team lead for the Red Hawks. Winston here near side for Central Michigan, reaches the free throw line, one bounce to the far wing. Redmond gets his way to the baseline drive to near side, and 
Foul whistled here on Larry as a block. He was knocked over. And it will be the third on Makai Larry in the game tonight with 136 here left in the second, a 76-54 lead for Miami. And a free throw here for Corey Redmond. He had one at the line, it gets it to go. So Josh Brewer for the Red Hawks, the pass into Makai Larry, left-handed dribble over the middle of the floor for the Red Hawks. Dish near wing, Litkin for Brewer, now on the far side, Richie. Top of the key, it's Larry who waits for the Red Hawks with 12 to shoot. Litkin near wing, outside the arc, trying a little middle lane drive here, pulls up free throw line, a shot too hard. Picked up here by Kevin Hamlet for Central Michigan. Over the line on the far away come the Chippewas. B.J. Mitchell, the left-handed dribble, reaches top of the key. Flings the pass far side, here's Winston. Steps in and back out. Pass to the far away for Kemp. Up top, here's Winston. 13 to shoot, less than a minute to go here in the game. Hamlet came up, fires off the free throw line jumper that missed. Coming down was Brewer. And a pass near wing, here's Larry on the timeline on the right wing for the Red Hawks. 20 to shoot. And 33 left here in the second. Larry left-handed dribble, pass far wing. Here's Richie. We'll pull up for a jumper from about 17 feet away. It was too far right. Hamlet comes down to the first central Michigan. Back the other way, P.J. Mitchell. Shot clock is off for the chips. Mitchell right-handed layup, good on a right wing try with 16 seconds left. And Larry gets the inbound here from Miami, passes over to Brewer. And Josh Brewer over the timeline will just wait. Five seconds to go. Brewer will hand the ball to the referees, and that'll do it. The Miami Redhawks grab their ninth win of the year on their home floor, their 11th win overall on the season, their fourth win in math play on the year, defeating the Central Michigan Chippewas in conference play tonight by a score of 76-57 from Millet Hall in Oxford. The Red Hawks off to a good start and what tonight was their fourth to last regular season game of the year. Of course, three of their past four we knew were gonna be at home this season and they take care of business tonight against the struggling Chippewas of Central Michigan who have now lost seven in a row and dropped to four wins behind Ball State in the Mac West Division. Chippewas now 2-11 on the road as well. Leading point scorer tonight for Miami. Nike Savani had 17 in the game for Central Michigan. It was Rob Montgomery who had 11. Red Hawks out rebounding Central Michigan 44 31 in the game tonight, including 13 at 10 in offensive rebounds. Red Hawks 31 for 21. They led the defensive rebound column. Miami 17 assists to Central Michigan 7. Turnovers were even at 17 apiece. And Miami with three blocks to Central Michigan's two. Points of the paint were won by Central Michigan. They were pretty good from down low tonight. They led that category by 26-24 margin for the Red Hawks, who grabbed the win tonight, 76-57 over the Chippewas of Central Michigan. So again, Nike Sabani, 17 points of the night for Miami, came in averaging 13.1 per game, came in with double figures in three of his past four. He can make that four of his past five now. And for Rob Montgomery and the Central Michigan Chippewas, we'll head back to Mount Pleasant with a seven game losing streak above their heads. They are on the road again Saturday, so a quick turnaround for them. They're going to Ypsilanti to play Eastern Michigan at 12 o'clock start for the Chippewas there. Then they are back on the road Tuesday at Ball State for a seven o'clock start. Red Hawks, again, back home Saturday against Bowling Green at 3.30 p.m. start, excuse me, uh, against the Falcons here in Millette Hall on Saturday. That game on Red Hawk Radio. And then they will be on the road Tuesday at Buffalo, their final road game of the year in the regular season. They will be a, against the Bulls in Western New York, seven o'clock start Tuesday, and then back home Friday, March 6th for their final regular season game here in Millette Hall against the Ohio Bobcats at 7 p.m. Eastern time. For Central Michigan, their final regular season of the game is also Friday, March 6th. They will play host to the Western Michigan Broncos in Mount Pleasant, a 7 p.m. start for the Chips there. 
So that'll do it for us here tonight from the Lead Hall. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Patrick Eshin and the rest of our Red Hawk Radio career, we thank you for listening to this presentation of Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Miami gets the win tonight, 76-57 over Central Michigan. Join us tomorrow, Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. The Red Hawks playing Omaha Mavericks tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern time right here. We hope you'll join us again tomorrow night. That'll do it for us here from Lead Hall this evening. We hope you have a great night. Thanks again for listening to Miami Basketball on Red Hawk Radio. Miami the winners tonight over the Chippewas, 76-57. Have a great night.